ideal professionals for tutorials. In this tutorial, we want to talk about purchase order. So in order to talk about purchase order, we will first check our purchases and suppliers to see that we have suppliers. So this is one supplier I've created. To create a new supplier, you come to add. When you click on add, to bring out the new supplier window where you enter the various information. I've also created inventory. I call it LG phone. Same place, maintenance, then I went to inventory. So I have created my inventory and supplier. I want to now raise a purchase order. To do that, for transactions, you go to transactions. From transaction, you go to suppliers, you go to order entry. So for order entry, you see purchase order. So when I click over, I just open the purchase order. Then which supplier am I raising this purchase order for? I will select the supplier's name. The supplier's invoice number. Let's assume one. Date 13th of December 2022. Let's select item LG phone. So it's telling me that I have 50 quantity available. How many am I selling? I can assume I'm selling eight. I'm buying, I'm buying eight. Since I'm ready to for the purchase for the supplier. At what cost? At what cost? Okay, as you confirm my quantity, I'll press it. It is selling for fifty thousand. Then I'll click on. Place order. To save. Not to print. No. So I will place order. I will now also click on receive stock. So from receive stock. Now to print now. Please purchase order now. So it has saved this. But you notice that we have place order, receive stock, and we have process invoice. So if I now want to process this invoice, I will just click on open. I click on open. Which supplier? So for it to give me the same purchase order that I just created. And I'll click on find. Click on status 
on. So it's not giving me my purchase order. It's not telling me that this is unprocessed. This is this purchase order is unprocessed. So I have, I have to now double click on it. It will now open the purchase order 